stripping of the interior has begun. Getting the carpet out. So the carpet at the front, there's a uh, panel on the right hand side there needs to come out. You see a screw at the top there and the bottom of the dash. Um, there's a popper up underneath in the centre here which just uh, pops out. Um, it runs underneath this central console uh, piece here. There's uh, one bolt in the little pocket there to remove that and then it pops up. Gear surround just pops off as well and then it angles up and out from the connections with the bottom of the dash. So the bottom of the dash doesn't need to come out. Um, likewise across here there's a popper that holds the front of the car from the foot, passenger footwell on the left. This uh, panel on the left uh, just clips out, there's no screw holding that one in. Um, you'll see the rock wire uh, conduit, the loom running alongside the sills, uh, the top of the sills, bottom of the doors. That sits within these, you'll see channels within the carpet, which just need to get a prising tool uh, underneath that, and that pops up all the way along. The, uh, obviously the seats need to come out first, they're I think it's T40 Torx, uh, they came out quite easily for me but it's nice and clean and dry the floor in this car. Um, the handbrake surround needs to come out as well, uh, two 10mm bolts there and uh, down there in the middle and then that just lifts out and slides forward. Uh, I've taken the carpet out, it would be easy with cutting it, but I've actually taken it out without cutting it, except underneath here uh, you've got handbrake cables run and it runs underneath those, so you'd either have to undo all of those, so I just put a slight cut along there. Um, but I'm not going to reuse the carpet, it would be easy if I just cut in bits, but I'll try to remove it in one piece. Um, a point to note, uh, get to this stage before you even think about buying seat runners uh, for your race seat. Uh, you can see here on the left, that's fairly standard, um, the, uh, the Torx um, bolts that uh, hold the seat down the centre seat uh, on passenger side and driver side. The ones on the inner side of both sides, so the left of the passenger of the driver seat and the right of the passenger seat, are longer. Now I had some seat runners, um, some seat mounts rather, which are, are these. They fit perfectly front and rear holes on that one, but uh, on these inner ones, you can see they're too short. So I'm glad I didn't go out and buy those for this project, um, but they're quite uh, a bit of difference. I'll try and put up some measurements. I'll measure it after I take the video and put up some measurements about how how much the distance differs. So all. It Uh, come up quite easily. The back seats um, fold the back down and you can access on both sides these. Uh, it's a 12mm bolt and a 12mm nut. They come off both sides. The back then lifts away, the front then tilts up and it's a little bit of wriggling upwards, lifting upwards, pushing downwards and sliding forwards with the base to get that slide forward and out. And that comes out quite cleanly in the carpet does underneath here. It's not, the carpet's not actually um, attached underneath this side panel here. So at this stage, these side panels will come out, but at this stage I was able to just pull it free from there. And uh, once the conduit is clear from the clips, then uh, then that comes out clean as well. So all in all, it's probably taken me you know, more than about half an hour to get the carpet out in its entirety, damage nothing. Um, there's, on the driver's seat, there's uh, two clips. Um, the white one uh, just unclips um, from the from the seat um, and then there's a second clip that holds both of them onto the seat which is here which is a bit of a pain which just needs a bit of a trim tool to get out. Another point to mention is to get the carpet. The carpet runs behind the bottom out of the seat belt for the front. Um, that's a 14mm uh, bolt. Uh, came out quite easily for me. Um, and then uh, the carpet comes out from behind that. Again you can probably loosen it and cut, cut the carpet away to get around that but I've just undone it and done it back up for now. It's important for the roof line to see how it's attached. It's got some really robust uh, rubberized glue that's holding it up um, at the top here. Um, incredibly strong. Um, the build notes do say don't pull it, you'll concave the roof, and that's absolutely right. I've done a cut and I'm working my way once I've got my hand behind. I'm prising it down with my hand between the roof and the lining, and it's tending to come away that way. Um, I would suggest that uh, if you do it bit, bit by bit, it's a lot easier to remove the uh, sun visor 
and the, uh, the clip for retaining the sun visor here, two, two flip screws for the sun visor right on each side, and then the roof liner removed. You see these five strips go all the way to the back, and at the back you've got these two uh, trim clips here which hold the back, um, and which pops out the top of the, um, the side trim. So these are the biggest problems we've so far. The bottom uh, seatbelt bolts, the back, they can actually go out into the uh, wheel arch. So the bottom end of them is completely corroded. Um, done this one, got this one out, took a lot of time and effort. Um, as you can see, it comes out at a funny angle. I've uh, slipped on the uh, sockets, uh, slipped on off the top here. I could have been around it really. Um, but uh, I'd suggest if you can get in behind, which I'm going to do for the other side, get some WD 40 and let it soak uh, on the end of the threads. Um, I kept having to back this out and then uh, run it back in again to try and clean the threads so I went. Um, but uh, I'm just going to leave the other one for the WD 40 soak for one.